This is what we're going to draw. Well, I'm going to start off um, by drawing a circle at the top of the page, leaving space down below for the bust. I'm drawing this because it was suggested by Sir Corndog211. I thought that's a really great idea. <laughs> and so we're drawing a circle like that, and we're going to want an ear around about there. Now, when you're doing this, don't press hard, or else it's going to be really difficult to erase the pencil lines later. And then draw sort of a line across, sort of from the top of the ear like that, slight angle. And then we're going to want the uh, the hair up there. It's a very distinctive kind of hairstyle that Julius Caesar has. And we're going to want to bring this down and then around a little bit like that, so that this will then come sort of down and up a little bit. That will come down there and up and down. These are the eyebrows. He's got two little kind of folds in his nose there. And his nose will come down just below the circle and up. Bit of a kind of a dip and then around. So this will then come out into the cheek. And then we want to come down and then from the ear this is coming pretty well straight down there like that and, and across there, a manly square jaw. Whether he was really like that or not, I don't know, but they obviously wanted him to look like that to, to impress everyone. So let's have the, the neck about there and that will come out like that. Now we're going to want to have um, a line coming out there and pretty much halfway, draw a little line there and it's going to come sort of down a bit and kind of like that. The line underneath it. And now we get to the tricky bit, which is the eyes. So here we're going to draw kind of almond shape. It is, it's more pointed at this end and rounder at that end. And similarly at this end. So that will come sort of like that. Maybe a bit bigger. And that's going to come around and underneath. And then we want a, a bit above. And again, we want a bit above there, line below. And I'm just not quite sure whether to have the eyeballs in, but if they are, you want to have the sort of the tops cut off like that. We're going to have the sort of toga will sort of come around like that. And then we're going to want to have the, the the base part of it like that, something like that. And then we're going to want to have it. Oh, we'll have it three, a bit more 3D like that. So that's kind of the base. If you're still watching, you obviously love drawing. So click down there and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. So I'm going to start around about here and going to curve that up there and we'll do that nice little curve there, and then we want these two <laughs> little sort of frown liney things on his nose, like that, and then that will come away there. And let's do these eyes. I always like to do eyes fairly soon. It sort of gives you a connection with the character that you're drawing. So that will then come around like that. So it's a real sort of S shape. That wants to come up there, and that will be coming around there, and like that. And then we want this kind of deep lines underneath, and this also wants a deep line above. And then this is going to come sort of like that. <laughs> and that's the bottom lip, and that's all you need is just a little, a little line like that. You you don't need to draw tons and tons of stuff. <laughs> Just a line across for the mouth and a line below, which is kind of like the shadow underneath. Now here I'm going to draw an ear and we want this sort of pinnier, pinny thingy part of it like that. And then I'm going to draw this chin coming down there, just slightly doubleish like that. Coming in there and then up to about there. Then we need to draw his hair. So he's got a very distinctive sort of hairstyle. Draw a little curl like that across this corner line. 
and then a bit like that. And then we want to draw these um, is a fringe, that's the word I'm looking for, across there. And then we want to draw a little S like that. And then we want some more of these S's sort of coming across the head like that. And then we want another little S down underneath it. And then like that. And then we want these S's in here for these sort of sideburns like that. And we're going to want some more little lines there. And then across the top, that will go there. And then we want a few more little hair lines across there. Now bring this neck down there like that, a neck down there and the shoulder. And so we're going to get another kind of line across there for the throat. And then we're going to do this really quite simply, this toga. So we're going to come across like that. So we, we've done that one there. And now we're going to come across almost into a point. And then we'll come back to a point. And then we'll come back. <laughs> And then we'll come back a bit more. And then we'll come back a bit more like that. I don't think you need to be that <laughs> accurate. <laughs> if where you can if you really want to be. But I'm trying to make this easy for you. So let's draw one, two, three coming down like that. And let's bring that forward to about there. And then down and across and up across. And I'm going to do a line like that. Let's do a little kind of chip on the corner there as well to give it a bit of age. And then when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then <laughs> then you can erase those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard in the first place. So do remember not to press too hard because then it gets really difficult to erase those pencil lines and then people will know how you did it. <laughs> so we can bring another little one sort of down just behind there and I think we could just put a little bit of shading in underneath his eyebrows just to make that a bit darker. And actually, I am just really reluctant to do anything more than that, really. Uh, maybe a bit underneath there. And a bit like that. Maybe in the ear as well there some there and then what we could do is is a bit like that so we just kind of shade the edges a bit and do them sort of alternate every now and then just to make them stand out a little bit like that we will need some shade there and we'll put a bit of shade there and I think what we could do is C A E S A R. So we could do C A E S A R. And then we're going to want to have some shade off there as well and we'll sort of put some that's more kind of texture than shade I suppose something like that and then we probably need to put an extra bit of shade coming I'm going to do cross hatching so doing it one way is hatching doing it the other direction is cross hatching and then just to make that work a bit better I'm going to add a bit of shade in on the lettering so it looks like it's been carved. No, I'm still not happy with this. I think you need a bit more cross hatching in there too. Then all you need to do is to make it look a bit marbly by adding a bit of colour. And that's how to draw Julius Caesar real easy. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.